Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. So today is Thursday, and the date is 25th of March 2021. It's the weekend, guys. Yay. Today, we're going to continue our lesson about technology. We're going to learn more about technology before we go there. Let's revise what we took already. What do you know already about technology? Raise your hand if you want to participate and tell me what do you want know about technology? Who make technology? Yes, yeah. Smite, yes, yes, smite. Engineers. Excellent. So, engineers, what do they study, Ismail? They study science and math. Excellent, excellent. To do for us technology, they follow something. What do they follow? Yeah, Ahmed. They follow something, a process. What do we call it? The design process. Excellent. So they follow a design process. Well done. So they can make technology for us. Okay, well done. Thank you, Ahmed. And who can tell me? Technology do two things for us. What and what? Who know? If you know, raise your hand. Let me see you. Technology. Yes, yeah, Ahmed. So technology, what, what does it do? How is it very helpful for people? How? All right, let's see. Okay, Hatan, why technology is important? Um, be because it can make stuff for the future and for now. All right, very good. Does it solve problems? Yes. So definitely, a technology solve problems. This is number one. Number two, does it meet your need? Yes. Exactly. So when I ask you why technology is important, you are going to tell me. Two things. Because it takes our need. Excellent. Meet our need and solve mm. problems. Excellent. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Thank you. Thank you very much. So technology meet our needs and they solve problems. Let's learn more today about technology. And do you think they would uh, be related to the environment? Can they be good for the environment or harm the environment? Today we will know. The environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Click the pictures to find out more about how technology can affect the environment. So, ya Hamza, what is environment? What is environment? It's all the living and non-living around you. So, if you look around you, do you have any living things around you? Look at... No. There is nothing at all. Are you sure? You even you don't have a plant? I have a plant. Very good. So plant is a living thing. What about a non-living thing around you? What do you have non-living thing? Um, what about the desk? The chair? The chair. The keyboard, 
excellent and everything around you everything around you we call it uh, an environment okay and if you are outside outside the garden you have many living and non-living around you so this is an environment when we are talking about environment we're going to talk about everything that is around you now how technology is related to the environment let's take a look at this slide sometimes our use of technology can be harmful to the environment factories can make bottles of clean water for us to drink which is a helpful use of technology however those plastic bottles can turn into a lot of garbage to prevent this collect and recycle your plastic bottles so factories what do they make they make a large amount of water bottles for us to use and this water bottles they are technology because they are helping us and they meet our needs but they can be very harmful for the environment why why khalid water bottles can be very harmful for the environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what? me? No. What? Hey, I know that you did not hear me. So please pay attention. Now, look at these water bottles, Ya Khalid. Who made them? Factories. And they are technology because they help us and they meet our needs. Now, if you throw them outside and uh, uh, did not put them in the garbage do they harm the environment or not yeah are they bad for our earth or not yeah exactly and they can cause death to many animals and insects so what should you do to save your environment we throw it in the garbage and Excellent. come come one of uh, uh, the garbage and the, uh, and take it and mm -hmm. in the Arabic I don't know it in the English you just know in the Arabic, we can uh, use it again add it to do it excellent excellent do you know what it is in English we call it recycling very good Excellent, Ya Khalid. Now, learn it in English. We do recycling. It's the exact word that you said in Arabic. So, how do you recycle a water bottle? You throw it in the garbage and come when... If you want to recycle it. Come of one um, to take it and uh, recycle it recycle we can do a recycle and we can use use it again in a different way we do not put an uh, again water inside it but what can you do with a water bottle maybe you can decorate it cut it from top and make a pencil case for you is that right yeah. this is how yeah. you make recycle so recycling technology is very good solution so you do not harm the environment let's see what else technology gives us aluminum in many forms such as cans cooking pans and foil if the aluminum goes into the trash it will take up space in landfills and pollute the ground technology also lets us recycle the aluminum and turn it into new things instead which is better for earth so not only plastic can harm the environment also aluminum can harm our our earth and pollute the land and the air how does it pollute the air uh, so how does it pollute the land when you throw it you make it as a garbage and this is not cool so yes Ismail, what are you going to do as a solution what Aluminum can harm earth or it can harm the land or pollute the environment if you throw them. What should you do with them? Foil are not good for our environment. What should you do? This is what? 
I use cycle. Excellent. So what should you do? We put it in the trash can. Excellent. Or we can do... Things with it. We can... Do things with it. Like exactly. It. So we can use it again. We can recycle it. How are you going to recycle aluminum foil? Maybe you can build a robot. Do you think it's a good idea? Make a toy for yourself. Or maybe, maybe you can decorate with it uh, your can, the one that, the plastic can that you did not throw uh, on the floor and you want to use it again. Recycling is a really good solution for technology. Instead of throwing technology, you can recycle instead. Thank you, Yasmai. Thank you. Homes, schools, and businesses all have technologies that use paper. What do you do with the paper once you have printed on it or written on it? You can recycle it, and technology will help people turn it into new pieces of paper. So, also we have paper. Paper can harm our environment if you leave them or you throw them as a letter. So, what should you do? You should recycle them we learned about plastic that they can harm the environment we learned about aluminium foil now we are learning about paper and how they can harm our environment what should you do ya hamza with paper when you are finished what should i do with the paper when i finish mm -hmm. color or Yes, you can color it. Do you throw it and harm the environment or what do you do? Do shape. Excellent, you can make shape. So you are going to re... Cycle. Excellent. So recycling is very good solution for our environment, not to harm the environment. Excellent, excellent. Ahmed and Wael, sorry, Ahmed and Amir, please sit down properly. And do not move. Thank you. Pay attention. Pay attention. Thank you very much. So, all these stuff are harming our environment. Can you tell me technologies, Ya Ahmed, that will harm our environment? Yes. What are they? Paper. Excellent. Paper and... Um, plastic paper. Aluminium foil and... Mm, recycle. Recycle. Okay. All these were harm our environment. Thank you very much. That's cool. And the solution for these letter not to harm our environment is to recycle. Well done. Please, guys, pay attention. Some factories use dyes that put color into paper and fabric. The factories must be very careful to avoid spills because the dyes can pollute rivers and soil. So some factories, what do they use? They use colors to dye the papers, the cloths and everything. They need to be very careful not to spill because they can harm the, uh, the soil, the river, uh, the water will be very uh, dangerous for living things like fishes, also for plants. And who eat those plants? Who eat those fishes, Ya Abdurrahman? Who eat the fish and who drink water uh, from the river and who eat the plants? Uh, the, the animals. Okay, well, animals. And who eat these those animals? Yeah. We eat them. Do you eat them or not? No. 
Really? You don't eat a sheep? Yes, yes. Okay, do you eat a fish? Yes. Okay, Abdurrahman, now listen to me. If this uh, uh, chemicals come to the river and pollute the fish and uh, the plant, are you going to be uh, in danger or not? Yes. Of course. So is it very important to uh, keep our environment clean or not? How do you keep our environment clean? You should avoid what? Avoid the, the river. Avoid pollution. Excellent, Ya Abdul Rahman. Thank you. So to keep our environment very clean, you need to avoid pollution. You need to avoid what Ya Abdul Aziz? Hi, Abdul Aziz. You need to avoid what? Pollution. Pollution, excellent. You need to avoid pollution. And what do you do? You re? Recycle. Excellent. So two things you can do for your environment is to avoid pollution and do a recycle. Some types of technology can be dangerous if not used correctly. It's important to learn how to use technology properly. Click the pictures to see examples of how to use technology safely. So, do you think some technologies are very dangerous, Ya Hamza? Are they very dangerous, Ya Hamza? What? Some technologies are dangerous if you don't use them safely or with an adult, it can harm you. Do you think it's correct or not? It's correct. Look at the pictures, like what? Hmm. If, you are one, if you are going to bake a cake, Ya Hamza, what are you going to do? Where are you going to put the cake? Um. In the mixing cake. Excellent. And can you use a mixing cake? No. Who use it? Who will help you? My mom. Very good. Why? Because it can be what? Because it can be dangerous. Excellent, Ya Hamza. Excellent. So we, ha can we have to be very careful with our technology, the one that we are using. What else, Yasef? Only the, uh, the mixing, the mixer uh, can be very dangerous or what else? And also the, the microwave. Excellent. Or the uh, stove, microwave, all these can be harmful for you and dangerous if you do not use it safely. You need someone to help you with it. What else? Look at, uh, uh, again, the pictures. Tell me, tell me examples. How is it very uh, uh, dangerous if you do not use it? Be carefully. Yes, yeah, someone, Talal. Yes, yeah, Talal. Yes. Can you tell me, Talal, how can you uh, harm yourself using a technology? Um, Look at the pictures. Okay. Mixing cake. Uh, uh, a mixer. Cake better. Excellent. When you are baking a cake, very good, Ya Talal. Thank you. When you are baking a cake, you need to put it inside the oven. This can be very harmful if you do not use it safely or with some adult because it's really hot. It can burn your hands. Is that right? It can burn your hand if you do not use it with someone big or an adult. Yes, Ya Abdul Ilah, what else? Yes, miss. What else? Something you use, a technology you will use, it can be harmful for you. Huh. can be, yeah. Yes, what else? 
Cutting a cake. Excellent. When you cut a cake, what are you using, ya Abdelilah? You need what I to cut a cake? You need a fork? Yes. No. What do you need to cut a cake? Do you need a spoon? No. What do you need then? A knife? Yes. Exactly. So when you are using a knife, Ya Abdul Ilah, can you cut your hand instead? By mistake, of course. <laughs> Maybe yes, maybe no. So is it dangerous to hold a knife or not? Yes, it is dangerous and you need some adult or you need to be careful. Now let's listen to the pictures and move on. When someone is using a mixer, be sure to keep your hands away from the mixer and do not put your face near the mixing bowl when the mixer is running. Appliances like mixers should be used only with an adult. Well done. What about baking pizza? Ovens have technology that helps us cook our food. People need to be safe when operating the oven and make sure that it's clean and empty before turning it on so that they do not start a fire. So to use an oven safely, you need to make sure it is clean and empty so you do not make a fire. And you need to be very, be careful so it not harm your hand. Yes, yeah, Hamza? Miss? Yes? I always touch a knife. What? I always touch a knife. Oof. No, you have to be careful, yeah, Hamza, with a knife. Please be careful with a knife. Be safe with that hot dinner. People should use hot pads to keep from being burned by the hot pan. Don't touch the oven because it stays hot for a long time, even after the baking is done. Hot pads and oven mitts are a technology to help us stay safe. So, some uh, of our mommies, what do they use, Yosef? Some material that... They, they use the they use the thing uh, for the oven if it was sudden, uh, they don't get burned in their hands. Excellent. We call it an oven mitten. Mix. Miss. Yes. Do you know, I also you use a knife. I can just cut anything uh, with a knife. I cut it an apple and a mango. Oh. And a apple are really hard to cut, so you need really to be careful. All right, safe. Okay, but you need to be careful, please, using a knife. It is not something you can laugh about or make a joke about. It is really serious and dangerous. I know people, they lose their fingers because using a knife not safely. So please be careful, please. Knives are sharp, so be safe by staying away when someone is cutting the cake. So they are super sharp. That's why you need to be safe using them. We learned earlier in this lesson about how technology can both harm and benefit the environment. The environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Living things are the animals and Miss. the environment. Non-living yes, things include technology devices that can affect the environment. Can you turn the images into environmentally friendly and environmentally harmful? Drag the pictures to the correct box. Very good. Touch the thing. Yes, do not touch the the sharp uh, part of the knife. Now, Ahmed, can you answer with me? You have a pictures over here, and I want to drag them if they are environmentally friendly or they are harmful to the environment. Now let's start with the dye, dyeing the uh, a plant, dyeing sorry the uh, 
cloth or a paper, is it harmful or they are friendly? Um, Some dyes and chemicals. Um, harmful. Harmful. Thank you, Ahmed. Let's see, Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz. What yes. about using riding a bike? If you are riding a bike, is it friendly to the environment or harmful? Friendly. Friendly. Excellent, yeah, Abdul Aziz. Thank you. Close your mic. Now, yeah, Abdul Rahman, are you here? Guys, please, if you are answering, close your mic. Abdul Rahman. What about school bus? Is a school bus environmentally friendly or harmful? Harmful. Let's see. Yes, you are right, Ya Abdul Rahman. Thank you. Hi, Khalid. Khalid. What about recycling center? If you are having a recycling center, is it harmful or friendly? Friendly. Of course. Thank you, Khalid. Please close your mic. What about you, Abdul Aziz? Abdul Aziz, what about cars in the cities? Can be can they uh, they are harmful or friendly to the environment? Harmful. Excellent, yeah, Abdul Aziz. Well done, well done. Hi, Amir. What about wind vane that they they make? This is the last one. Huh? This is the last one. Okay, is it friendly or harmful? Friendly. Thank you. Great job. You've done well understanding how technology can have benefits but can also be harmful. For example, using cars in cities where there are lots of buses is not a good idea as it can harm the environment. If you lived in the country, though, a car may be essential to get into town, to school. As with most things in life, there are safe and unsafe ways of behaving. This also applies to technology. In the images here, click the one of the person that is using technology in an unsafe way. So there is one picture using a technology not safely. Which one? Is it batting a baseball, riding a bicycle, riding on a basketboard safely? or riding on a skateboard. Which one, Ya Hamza, not safe? Um, riding on a skateboard. You got it. Excellent. This older kid should know better. Skateboarding with no protection like this is really dangerous and is an unsafe way to use technology. It is unsafe to ride on a, a skateboard without a helmet and without using the knees and elbows protection. He's not using it safely at all. Unlike this small young boy, he's using a helmet and a protection so he can ride it safely. Well done, well done. Match the technology with the person who uses that technology. Drag the labels to the correct images. All right, boys, that was everything for today. We are going to play this game, inshallah, on Sunday. I wish you have a great, great, great weekend and you enjoy it. Thank you for participating and being part of this class. We'll definitely see you on Sunday. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.